Ooh, baby, it's Paramore season. Everybody's excited. I'm excited. I'm so excited that yesterday I spent two hours outside of the Chicago Theater for a concert that I did not have tickets for just for a chance at a glimpse at God herself. Another person who's excited for the newest Paramore album is New Wave Pro champion Mad Dog Connolly. So I thought that while we wait for February to become, it would be fun if we did ourselves a little tier list. Specifically, we're going to be doing a tier list where we rank all of the songs on Paramore's 2009 album, Brand New Eyes. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. But first, a quick message from the scene. Hey, it's Alex from Cat in the Hurricane, and did you know that only 50% of Cuddle Punk's uh, video watchers are actually subscribed? So you better subscribe, otherwise we're going to come find you. You won't like that. But I also took the liberty of investigating your Spotify a little bit, and I saw that you, you, you're, you're, you're a little bit of an emo boy. I noticed on that, and I noticed. Absolutely. I noticed Paramore is one of your most listened to bands. They're my favorite band. So what you and I, Mad Dog Connolly, are going to do? We're <laughs> going to do a tier list of every single song on Paramore's brand new eyes. We're gonna do this in chronological order. I will say, I don't necessarily know. I know this is debatable. I'm gonna keep Decode on here just because it's there. I did not have Decode on my list, I'm sorry. That's totally fair. Um, you know what, we're gonna, I'm gonna put it in S, but there's an asterisk next to it because it's an S tier song, but I don't, it's not on, guys, it's not on Brand New Eyes. Stop trying to make it be on Brand New Eyes. Okay, I wanna preface this by saying I love Fairmore. Um, not one of my favorite bands. Uh, I, I studied this album uh so much just for this game <laughs> and I, I i listened to this album at least 20 times just so i could have a very ob objective and, and strict opinion of this album but i always view albums as more of like a whole rather than like than like the songs divvied up because it's more of a journey in my opinion rather than it is like just a list of songs i completely agree i think that as I don't know if all of these songs, if you put them against all of the so uh, songs on other Paramore albums, that all of these would be in like the top 11 of them. Right. But I do believe that together they do make the best Paramore album. I agree. This is a really good album. It's a super strong album. And where we're going to start is Careful. It's uh, not their best opening. I still think that's for a pessimist, but it is it's still in i think it's one of the best album openings ever if we if, yeah no if we're just talking this album just specifically uh i am going to put this in s mm -hmm. because i am a sucker for a good ass fade in and this had a really good fade in Haley show Haley's not like she doesn't she doesn't like ease your way into it with the vocals she's up there so quickly oh, on this song no, oh, I completely absolutely. agree. That one needs to go in. I worry we're going to fill up S very quickly. Ignorance. Um, one of the few they still play live from this record. It's a it's the it's a hit. It's a, it's hit, a hit for sure. I'm going to hit it in the B category. Okay. I'm going to put it in the B category just because I feel like it's a little overplayed. I think that's fair. I do think that's fair and I that's I I worry that's going to be an issue with the singles, but Sure. It's over. It's still a great song. We just we're this is an objective list, and we got to go with how it's exper how we've experienced them. I'll be honest Absolutely. with you. I do enjoy the song. I forget that this is the title every single time. I forget mm, yeah, that this yeah, one yeah. is playing God. On my list, this is pretty high up there. This ranked above ignorance for me. All right. So I'm probably gonna have to stick this in A. Okay. I. For me, I would probably put it more around C. I just, sure. I think that it's, I think it, it's fun. I think it's, I don't know. I feel like it's easier to get lost in this song. Like, I feel like it's easier to get lost in this way and it doesn't necessarily have as much of a hold on you. I am willing <laughs> to, if you want to compromise, we can put this in B. That's fine. Hell yeah. That's funny. Okay, so that's funny because this next one, I have that opinion about this song. Okay. This was actually pretty low on my list. I kind of see where you're coming from there. I think the ba 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 da ba ba da is, it's great. Sometimes that's all I remember about this song. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I think I would have to go, I think I agree with you. I think we're gonna go with, do you put this one in C? 
Yeah, I'll would, I would put that there. Let's put that in C. I'm friends with people on Twitter who will say that this is the best song on this album, but it's their favorite Paramore song. This is absolutely a very good one. It's a really, really um, good one. I, I would put this in A. I think I would put it in A too. This album is the first album with Taylor York as an official member of Paramore. And I think this is the song where it really starts to show his more like kind of proggy, more intricate lead work really starts to come in on this. For sure, sure. So the only exception, uh, you know what? This was pretty low on my list too. It's a yeah. good love song. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have to put it B or C. B or C, I honestly, I'll put it in C because I don't want to put a Paramore song on C. I had it in D and it's not fair, but I do know it's it, it's in D for me because it's about Chad Gilbert. Is it <laughs> really? New, that's about Chad Gilbert from Newfound Glory, baby. Wow. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah. That's totally fair. Okay, yeah. That, I think that's a good spot for it. Though. I think it's a good spot, yeah. Because I do think it's a gorgeous song. I know a lot of people where this song really means a lot to them still. Yeah. It's it's the ballad. It's the ballad. And I don't think Absolutely. this is the best ballad on this album. I'm feeling sorry, I think. I forget that this song exists. And then it's the exact opposite thing that I have with Playing God. Where with Playing God, I know that it's coming up, but I forget the title. With mm -hmm. Feeling Sorry, I always forget that it's coming up. And then when it hits, oh my God, does it fucking hit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I had this pretty high on my list. I'd say either A or B for this. I would say, I'm going to put it in A, I think. Ah, yeah, I agree with a. that. This one I'm not really going to accept anything else for. Um, this is not just my favorite Paramore song. It's in my like top 20 songs of all time. Looking Up is S tier. Looking Up is completely 100% S tier for me. I think that was high on my list as well. I agree with that. It's this small, like, brief part of, like, joy in yeah. this album. Yeah, like, yeah. it's them kind of reveling in themselves. And I love the, like, fake ending on this song. Yeah, it's a very good song. And Haley kind of kind of gets to, kind of gets to show off her hardcore skills a little bit there. And I really, it's, it, it's a good look for her. Where the lines overlap. Um... I don't necessarily remember this one very I feel much. The same way. I feel the same way. Uh, I, I think it was probably like in the middle of my list. I might. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna go with B. I'll, we'll go with B. I'll, I'll go with B. I'll agree with you on B, but I think the reason that I don't remember it is because of that one-two punch of feeling sorry and then looking up right before right. it. I feel like it kind of gets lost in the sauce a little bit, where it's just like. It's another like rocker before we get into the last part of the last a lot more slower part of the album. Oh yeah. And this album is real strong. It really does. All I wanted is such a good song. All I wanted is such a good fucking song. I don't think they I think they've played it live exactly once. Really? Exactly that's one time. Surprising. I don't know if it's because that's Haley can't hit that note. I don't believe that's why it is. Or if it's just too if there's too much emotion attached to it, I would love Maybe. to see them do it. Out of every song in this album, this is the one that always that I always remember, always gets stuck in my head. I'm putting that on S tier for We're putting sure. This that one was in the S -tier, number one definitely. on my list. It's such a, it's, I think it's the best slow Paramore song. Absolutely. Yeah. And then uh, Misguided Ghosts. Misguided Ghosts, it's, what I love about this one is that it's kind of a tease of what's to come in a way. Yeah. I think that the more like, it's that more like indie side of Paramore that would start to come out with the self-titled and After Laughter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have this pretty high on the list too, just because I really enjoyed the song. Um, I thought, yeah, I'd put it in A. a. I'd, let's go with A. All right, we have our tier list. That that brings us to the end of this. I think we did a pretty good job, and.